Hey, bro. Watch this. Hey guys, I'm Louis Gadane. That was me last week. I was working out and I pulled a, what I like to call a, a gym douchebag, uh, or a bro douchebag, whatever you want to call it, where I bench pressed a little bit too much, you know, tore my tendon. Uh, now I can't really move my right arm that great, which is problematic because I'm a painter, classical realist, uh, classical artist, and it's how I make my living. So I'm gonna learn to draw, or rather attempt to, with my left hand. I figured, you know, I was gonna make this video anyway. I wanted to bring you guys along with, with me because I know when I first started painting, I had no idea where it was starting. So I kinda wanna help you guys out. So yeah, let's get to it. So here we are. This is how I started and put the bottom point, the top point. Normally I go for the hairline, uh, but it's good to understand what the skull is. And as you can tell, I'm going with straight lines because you have to learn how to see angles properly. One of the most common mistakes people make is when they dive into drawing, they go through and, and we do this, everybody does it. It's human nature, we want to detail everything and go through and embellish it, but then it's in the wrong place. So we need to be able to accurately see large shapes and be able to shift them because in real life models, they move. And so it's good to be able to shift if, if you have that face drawn and it's detailed and you have to shift it because everything else is incorrect, it's not good. So here we are keeping it a basic block in. And so if I wanted to move, if this was a full body figure or something, I could move, you know, like the limbs or anything very easily. And notice how I follow through with the lines. Now this was very difficult because obviously it's my left hand. And just a little disclaimer, this is not sped up this video. It's actually how fast I do draw. Back off. So once we get the basic shadow shapes in, we can go through and start shadowing them in. And so you can go through your outline, and, and I wanna, this is going pretty quickly because I'm a genius, obviously, because I'm drawing so fast. But the idea is, before you even start shadowing it in, you take your time, and you look at the proportions and move the lines. You know, I might have to move a chicken, move it out, and just train yourself to see the larger shape. And, and one little trick to do that is to squint down when you squint takes away all unnecessary details, so I was squinting a whole lot in this. Look at that beautiful technique. Now that left eye, I went through and basically redrew it three or four times. So, you know, I mess up, and I think what I was doing too, I was, I was focused so much on my left-handed technique that I was ignoring some of my uh, prior training of, <clears throat> of remaining with the larger shape. It was my left hand's fault. My right hand could definitely do it. This video is gonna turn into me, uh, it's just an excuse. You know, I could do it with my right hand. My eyes are a little bit big, I think I fixed that later on. Oh, by the way, I'm using a HB, or actually I started with a B pencil and went to an HB. Now it goes B, 2B, 4B, that's getting softer, and then H, you know, HB, H, H2, H4, that's getting harder. So HB is kind of an inventory. So I like HB and the B pencil. B soft and it doesn't scar the paper. You can get a nice mark on it. So I'm just shifting back and forth. But if you, for example, you know, put a mark down with a 2H, and do it really hard, it's going to scar the paper. You don't want that. It's going to be hard to move the line. So that's why sometimes if, if you find you're, you're scarring the paper, um, you're probably pressing down too hard with a hard pencil. And that's one of the keys in this is always you want to keep it light. Notice I've kept it light for most of the time. I will start going through and getting a little bit darker with it as I start solidifying the information. So the proportions are still a little bit off, and but this was this was uh, you know a very high focus for my left hand. I was just trying. I was really gosh, I tell you, it's, it's difficult. It's really hard. You know, you really take for granted what you can do with your dominant hand. I'm really gonna miss uh, you know bench pressing a thousand pounds like I did to blow my shoulder out, which wasn't that much for me. Oh yeah, look at the technique. There you go. There you go. Shade that shirt and get the mouth. Okay, so you notice too, you can probably notice how I'm moving all around. The idea is to see the whole thing at once. That's the key. You have to retain the entire image that you're looking at. Now, I'm going to go through with videos and I'm going to do tutorials on all sorts of things and I want to make them entertaining for you guys. Um, I think you learn better that way anyway. I do at least. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. I'm very new at this. This is it's a little bit different than what I'm used to. I've had to learn like a ton of stuff. Uh, and yes, my 
mic is duct taped to me. You see this? Guys, that's a doll dick right there. And you see, we can constantly keep on going through and, and uh, we, can, we can refine. The, the main thing is you lay the foundation down and then just go from there. You want to lay that foundation there and just keep it simple at first. Keep it simple and then go into it. All right. Guys, there you have it. Drawing with the left hand. You did it. Pull through. So I'll be doing this uh, once a week. I'm going to try to be getting some videos out. Tutorials, um, you know, I want them to be fun, entertaining, whether it's on drawing or painting. And we'll see where this thing goes. But you guys let me know if you like this video or not. And let me know if there's anything that you would like to see, anything that you are having trouble with, any questions on technique, anything of the sort. I'd be very, very happy to help out. Anyway, thank you for watching. You guys take care.